What's up, class? I'm not here. That's what's up. I'm just here on this screen. And I'm going to help you get started using WeVideo today. Whether that is in class or whether that is over the weekend, hopefully you can get a little bit out of how to use this video editing software that's free for you. You could actually record in it too if you want to. I don't know what that would look like or how it would be, but you're welcome to try it out. Remember, we want to make sure we've done a few trial runs recording to see how we can get the best possible sound and video for a podcast that we're making. Okay, first step, we're going to log in. So wevideo.com. Um, so log in with Google, click on your account, all standard stuff, nothing new. Okay, so from here, uh, first step is we're going to create a new project. Um, I'm going to say a new video, but you could do a new podcast. However, it's only audio. So remember, I want you in the video. I want to see you. So let's do recording. Okay. So we click video. And if you just clicked it, it would do a standard one. But if that pops up, we want to do horizontal. Okay. So we're going to say start editing. And um, I'm going to grab a video that I already have here, but you probably don't have these videos. So the way to get your video in is to go to this little button here uh, that says import. And then it should bring up uh, different options, one of which is you could get it from Google Drive or another cloud software like from Microsoft. Um, it's probably on your computer though, if you recorded it with your laptop. And then you could see that there's all these different ones that you could grab, hopefully on your screen. Um, so once it's loaded, all of your media files should be in here. So you could load all the videos if you took multiple ones. Well, once you're ready to put it in the timeline, which is this section right here, this is the timeline, okay? Uh, it's called the timeline because it's a time and it it, it, it tracks time and it goes in a line. Uh, so um, we are going to move this now out of my way. Um, so I'm going to drag this down here and we need to make sure we put it in one of the video slots, video one or video two. I like to start with video one and then I can stack stuff on top of that, uh, like titles say. Okay, uh, first, uh, or the next thing to do is uh, we need to expand the height of this so we can see our audio because it's probably in one file. So we're going to click the little triangle here and go to the big box. Go to the big box. Um, okay, we're going to go to the... That's weird. I don't know why it wouldn't do that for video one for me. Um, I guess if that happens to you, put it in video two. Okay, so this beginning part you can see um, doesn't have much audio. The bigger the lines are, the more I, I'm talking. So I know then I can delete a bunch of this in the beginning. And here's how we would do that. Uh, we're going to take the um, timeline tracker and put it in the spot that we want to start editing. We're going to split by clicking the scissors here. And now we split the clip into two clips. And that's cool because now I can just get rid of this right here. So I can go uh, click the trash can, click delete, and it's gone. And then I'll just drag this back into place, but not quite to the beginning. I'm going to put it at about nine-ish seconds. And you're going to find out in a little bit why. Okay. Uh, it looks like there's a little break in the talking for me. So let's see what's going on there. In other words, somebody gets in trouble and gets out of it. This is a quality story. A little too awkward of a pause. So I need to get rid of that little section. So here's how I do that. I put the um, timeline marker right where I want it to be. And then I split the clip again. But now... All I need to do is drag. So see how it says click and drag to trim the beginning of this clip. Trim, like hair. We're going to cut some off. 
So I drag it back right where I think it looks. Uh, right, am I talking yet? Not quite, ah, that's probably good. Okay, and I let go. Okay, now I'm gonna push it back together and we're gonna see how that looks. If it looks natural. Get trouble and gets out of it. This is a quality story and easy to use. Mm, it's okay, but you know what would help, help it? A transition, just like when you go from one paragraph to another. Transitions are found up here in the top. So I'll click transitions and I like this mosaic one. It actually gives you a preview when you click and hold over it. Yep. So I like mosaic. We'll put it in there and then push play There's to see what it looks like. Story and easy. Ooh, that's super cool. All right. So, so far I've learned how to uh, split a clip. I've learned how to trim a clip. I've learned how to add a transition between clips. Now, we want to make sure that we know how to put some text in the beginning to introduce our podcast. So these are the different text screens and you can see a animation with this text screen and what it would look like. Uh, I'm going to choose this one um, and drag it where I want it to be. So I'm going to drag it here in front and then you notice what I just did right there? It's like the opposite of the trim I did. It says click and drag to trim the ending. No, I'm actually gonna increase it. So if I'd went to the left, it would have trimmed it, but I went to the right, so I actually expanded how long it goes for. So it'll do the transition, and then it was meant to only be this long, but I made it a little bit longer. We'll see if that works. Okay, now, in order for me to change what the words are there, I need to go to this little button that says open clip editor. And then it shows me the words. I can make them bigger by changing the size. Um, I can change the font if I wanted to, and I can change the words. So instead of saying bada there in yellow, I could say, Mr. Changes Ruck. And you know, I think that, probably needs to be a lot bigger, right? Probably like two hundo. Yes. And there should probably be like 185. Sure. Now I don't want them exactly in that position. So is that going to be okay? Ooh, see how I can, I can actually move it around the screen, but, um, I don't want that. So hopefully it's kind of centered. Ooh, I can put a grid on it to see if it is in the center. That's nice. Also, it allows me to snap. I'm betting that means that when it gets close to being in the middle, yeah, it snaps right in place. That's nice. So let's get rid of that grid. Um, we'll see if the animation looks okay with them being as big as they are. You might have to change, I might have to change the size. Um, if I auto it, it changed the size for me. Hmm. I at least want to change the colors. If they, if the sizes are, are the way they are, then whatever. Um, it does say that I can transform. This is going to be some fancy stuff about changing the animation. And I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to mess with that. I'm not going to go into that kind of detail with you. Okay. So let's see how this looks. I'm going to click play over here. Hmm. I thought I was supposed to do something. Ah, there. Okay. So that looked pretty cool, but you can see it's going to be on the screen for a while. Let's see. I save the changes. Um, let's see if this is going to be okay. Mr. Ruck. And then it's just on the screen. Okay. So probably means that I did make it too long. Really easy. Orange. It's selected. Click at the end. Drag it back. I think that that's probably a little bit better. Now I have this extra space here. How do I get everything over there? Ah, I click and then I hold down shift and click again and I drag it into place. All right. Now, is this better? Yeah, okay, I class. would say it's better. One thing we still need to do that I know all of you really want to do and that's add our theme music in. Now, I don't actually have my theme music with me, I don't believe. 
Um, now it says free music, so they're going to give me some free stuff, but what if I want my own, you know? What if I need to import some? Are they going to let me do that? Hmm, you know what? I bet if I had it in my media, let's go investigate. Import. And let's do MP3. No, let's do MP3. Hmm, ooh, got some old podcasts from the past. That's exciting. What about more recent? Last modified. Ooh, we have a wrap from the past. Okay. Um, I don't think that this is what we want. Um, but I think that you could input one of your uh, MP3s that way. Um, so if you want to see if you can import music that you'd already found, I would try to import it like we've done that other stuff and it'll show up here. And just like any file, um, you just drag and drop it down here into the audio like you're going to see. Same thing here. I'm with mega music. I'm just going to drop it down here into the audio. When it's green, that means we can put it in. Okay. I don't want it to go past very far. Me talking because I'm just going to be the intro, right? So I'll let it go past a little bit. See, this is selected. So again, I'll cut it and I'll get rid of the rest of that. Now, here's a key thing. So you see here, this little volume button, we can make it so that it, at the end there, it really fades out, okay? So let's see how that sounds now, with it fading out. Okay, class. There are many famous... Awesome, see how it faded out? Okay, so just a few tips and tricks. We wanna make sure the most important part we get done is cut down those big blank spots, okay? No reason to leave those in there. We don't wanna see the awkwardness <laughs> to a certain point. And then have some fun. Mess around with the transitions and the text screens and the songs and all that. Just remember, you can do too much of it and make it a distraction, and we don't want that because we made some awesome podcasts, I'm sure, with super cool topics. Okay, at the end now, when it comes time to save, all we have to do is click close, and it saves for us, okay? So it's gonna be called My Video. If you wanna change the title, but we click uh, Rename. We click Rename, and Test of We Video. There we go. Okay, so just a couple of little simple pointers. Hope it helped you, and I hope that uh, you know what your next steps are for making that podcast. If you're we're gonna record in class today, Make sure that you use one of those fold up uh, pieces of cardboard in front of the room to block the sound and that you use one of the mics from the back table. I will see you next time. Peace.